Okay, so talking about questions. Okay, yeah. so as I've said before, your ear now is getting to a really interesting stage. You, you are trying to reproduce stuff that you previously heard and said, which yeah. is good, and you have to go with that. But the problem is when you've heard two different systems. So just quickly going over what I did in the video is there are, there's three ways of asking a question, really, ultimately in French. And I want you to focus on two. I don't want you to think of the one in the middle. Let's quickly make sure you've got them. So the first one is, as dumb as it sounds, is always ending with the question word. So if you've got what, why, who, when, how, etc., those words are going to come at the end of your sentence. So what that basically means is you say a statement and then the question word. So for example, uh, um, your, um, where do you live? The statement would be, you live plus question mark at the end. Lovely, okay? The question method would be when you put the question word, the more formal method would be when you put the question word first, then have esca, and then still have your sentence. So notice tu habites is the same on both sides. Tu habites où, ou est-ce que tu habites? Okay? Do another one for me. Um, uh, so if I said uh, you're arriving in two words, what would that be? Tu... Tu arrives. Tu arrives. Give me the call. Tu arrives. Lovely. So give me your arriving when in the end method at the end. Tu, tu arrives. Lovely. Now give me the other method, starting with a question word. Quand est-ce que tu arrives? Arrive. Now, quand est-ce que is going to have quand a T sound. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Arrives. Good. Do another one for me. Um, uh, why do you want to go out? Do me the method ending with the question word. Uh. So what's the sentence in the middle of that? You want, you want to go. To yeah. So go. If, you, if you want to you think, want to go. go out. Yeah. So if you want to think about it, the sentence, the, the, the method with the question word at the end, is always going to begin with the person. So who's the person in? You know. You. Yeah. So give me. You want to go out. To the so, sortir. Oh, give me nice accent. Ooh. Why? Pour, oh, pourquoi? Great. Okay. Tu now give me why is it you want to go out. Um, pour, pourquoi? Est-ce que, est que tu, tu veux sortir? Lovely. Okay. Now, obviously we've got the word what, which we have to quickly make sure we're, we're familiar with. When we've got what at the end of the sentence, as opposed to what at the beginning, we've got different words. So give me he likes what. Il aime quoi? Great. What does he like? Uh, Qu'est-ce qu'il qu qu aime? Lovely. Perfect. Now, final thing to do with all of these. Comment, as in how, you can kind of put anything anywhere. Comment vas-tu? Uh, comment tu vas? Tu vas comment? You can kind of rearrange it anyway. The word que, so now we're looking at the other method, which is when you start with a question word, but then you, go, you don't have esca. So without the esca, I used to teach this method where you have the click, so you go across with a question word, you look down, your hands are crossed. So when you say the question word and you don't say esca, you've got to do an inversion. What does an inversion mean? It means verb first. So in the sentence, tu veux sortir, what's the first verb you're going to hear? The. So a, a dumb way to remember an inversion is what is the song? Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Do you want to sleep with yeah. me? Okay. So the, the sentence would be, you want, vous voulez. So the inversion is, voulez-vous. Voulez so if I had tu veux, the inversion would be? Veux-tu. Great. If I had il a, the inversion would be a-t-il. We put the sneaky t in. So with a lot of those, you don't have to use the inversion. So for example, if you said, when does he want to come? So what's my question word? Quand? Quand? Now if I didn't say, is it that? I have to swap my stuff around. So quand do you want? Quand veux? So after quand, I need, so after a question word, if I don't have esca, I need an inversion. Okay. So if I, when do you want? It's going to be, when want you? So what's that okay. going to be? Quand veux-tu? Venir. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Now, I generally say avoid the inversions. It's just so you recognise them if someone said them. Okay? So I'm going to ask you a series of questions and you're going to answer them. Okay? And so I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to ask me a question. I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to ask me a question. Okay? Lovely. Um, and just, I'm going to ask you the question in one method. And you're just going to, before you answer the question, you're going to answer it, you're going to ask it the other method. Okay. So, so, for example, if I ask you the, the simple version ending in the question, you're going to give me the one starting with the question word, and then you're going to answer it, okay? Okay, uh, 
Uh, tu habites où? Give me the formal method. Um, où est-ce que tu habites? Good, and notice that the sentence is going to be the same in both. Tu habites yeah. où? Où est-ce que tu habites? Same sentence, okay? So where do you live? Uh, J'habite à Gillingham. Okay. Um, est-ce que tu parles l'italien? Sorry. Yeah, est-ce que tu parles l'italien? So I'm going to need another way of uh, uh, saying, or parle italien. You don't necessarily need the the. How are you going to ask that in a simpler way? Um, tu parles italien? Mm. Lovely, okay. Or parles-tu l'italien? If you really wanted to, but I think that's ugly. Good. Est-ce que tu parles italien? No. So give me, I, I speak. Je parle. I speak it. Je, je le parle. I don't speak it. Je, je ne le parle pas. Great. Je ne le parle pas. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed you didn't know. Well done. Most people can't do that and the le. But je le parle pas would be fine, okay? Although not written down, okay? Je ne le parle pas. Okay. Um, uh, quand est-ce que tu es parti en vacances cette année? Quand est-ce que tu es parti? Can you hear my sentence? Tu es parti. So I'm going to repeat the sentence. You went. En vacances cette année. When is it you went on holiday? Good. So now give me the simple, simple version. Uh, tu es... Tu es hmm? parti en, va en vacances quand? Cette année. Cette année. Okay, where did you go on holiday? Uh, and then not forgetting to use the same tense as you heard in the question. So you heard bum bum bum, you heard a tense in that uh, past. Yeah. So you can give, je suis parti en vacances. Je suis parti en vacances. Mm. Deuxième? Le deux. Le deux. The second of? No, no, no. Um, oh, two times? Yeah, deux oh, fois. Oh, deux fois. Deux okay. fois. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actuellement? Okay, uh, en fait. Actually means right now. Oh, okay. So actually is en fait. So you don't say actually the same as we do in English. No, actually so means... we use it in English as actually. And in French it means currently. Oh, just currently, yeah, okay. okay. So en fait. Yeah, yeah. En fait. Mm -hmm. uh, en fait, uh, la première fois... La uh, première fois. La première fois mm -hmm. en mai. Mm -hmm. Spell première fois mai. P-R-E-M-I-E-R-E. -E. Good. Now, because it's première, there's no accent on that first D. Oh, it's I not pre. pre. Yeah, so, the, because you, so you've spelt it correctly. So yeah. you, you're pronouncing it how you've said it. Première, <laughs> what's on that last that last E? A grave. Whenever you have I-E-R-E, -E, so dernier, D-E-R-N-I-E-R, -E dernier, D-E-R-N-I-E, long E, yeah, R-E. Because think about it, the general rule as well is if your air is at the end of the word, Dernier, it can be longer, and if it's longer, yeah. it's obviously the graph. How am I spelling pair as in father? Uh, P E I -E Just say E graph, so I know which one you're on. E graph. Like. Yeah, you know what I mean. Bottom, top left, to bottom right. R A good. Mère, same thing. Okay, excellent. Um, excellent. Um, donc, so, so the first time, la première fois. Uh, en mai. Mm -hmm. Et le deux fois. La le deuxième fois. Good. Um, été hmm? uh, septembre. Good. Spell deuxième for me. Deuxième. You said it beautifully. D e u x i e m e. Any accents? I am. Je ne sais pas. Deuxième. Deuxième. So première. Deuxième. Would you say your mouth goes into the same position? Deuxième. Grave again. So you. Is it deuxième or is it deuxième? It's, so it's basically anything towards, it's a general rule, but it's not a bad one. Anything towards the end of the word that goes eh is going to be that one. Okay, so any of your em is going to be that one, any of your yeah, yeah is going to be that one. Yeah, that one, that one, okay. Um, so la deuxième fois, where did you go? Pour, où est-ce que tu es allé pour la deuxième fois? Where did you go for the second time? La même pour uh, la deux. les deux. Les deux. Les so, deux. So for me, deux. I went. Je suis allé. To the masculine, au, same place, uh, même en, en droit. En droit. Good, spell même for me. M E. That one. The, the, That's it, well done. Yep, yep, the, mem. Um, M E M E. M E with yeah. the, the accent, M E, good. What's that called? That's, um, it's not a hat, but it's a. Uh, circumflex. Circumflex. Yeah, a sedilla yes. is the yes, tail on the tail, seat. Okay, yeah. yeah. A moe is the, like, um, the one that you have like above, like an E or something, like on moe, like the word moe and lancom. Two dots. Yeah, yeah, um, um, yeah, moe and the, um, on lancom, the, um, the, um, 
Longcom's the circumflex, isn't it? Yeah, Longcom is the, um, I think. Longcom is basically going to push it for you. So it's like, um, it's like, okay, say our dog, notre chien. Notre chien. Say our one, le nôtre. Le nôtre. Le nôtre. We push the O up like Longcom, okay? That goes, that's that one, okay? Um, the, 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 the moe, which is basically just the, the double E, is just... For, it's just a little bit of separation on the E, but it's kind of rare in French, so don't worry about it. Mm. Okay, um, uh, good. Uh, uh, why did you choose this place? Can you give me both question methods? Mm. So basically, when we hear a did in English, what tense is it? Action, one, oh. isn't it? Yeah, it's just why did you do this? In French, it's why is it that you chose? So give me that mm. method. Why is it that? Mm -hmm. que tu as Great, so any did in French is always going to have a have. Yeah. Did you finish? T'as fini? Mm -hmm. Tu as fini? Est-ce que t'as fini? As-tu fini? Any did is going to do have a have. Okay? okay. Good, um, lovely. Good, that's fine. Yeah, just basically got them in your mouth. Obviously, est-ce que is yes or no. So it's like, did you like the, you know, um, Esca can obviously go into any tense, so did you, you know, uh, will you, will you, uh, will, not are you going to, will you leave with him? Tu... So what's my three sounds for future? Right, right, wrong. Which one for tu? Ra. Well done. Verb to leave, par. Partir. So give me you Pat will leave. Uh, tu partiras. Lovely, so give me will you leave with him? Um. Mm -hmm. Tu partiras mm -hmm. avec lui. Good. How am I spelling partira? P A R T I R A S. Well done, because we've taken it from the have. Excellent. Okay. Ensuite, donc maintenant nous allons commencer les les verbes, les expressions qui utilisent deux mots, qui utilisent deux mots. En anglais, nous utilisons toujours deux mots parce que nous avons to et le verbe. Par exemple, manger en français, un seul mot. En français, to eat. Uh, up, en anglais, to eat. Danser, un seul, un seul mot. En, en, en anglais, to dance, par exemple. Donc, nous allons regarder, nous allons considérer les verbes, les expressions en français qui utilisent plusieurs mots. Which is, use several words. OK? English is full of it. Like, to get on with, to get off, to get on. I mean, I, I did a get video the other day, but loads of other stuff. Loads of, you know, to take the piss, to take over, to take under your wing, to take... You know, there's loads of expressions in English, but basically, as a general rule, we have fewer expressions in French. We have individual verbs that mean that one thing. So, get on, get off, you know, for example, prendre, descendre, you know. So, let's look at some really common ones. And let's just be comfortable in different tenses. So, first things first, I'm afraid. Good. So what you need to think of straight away when you hear an expression is, is this more likely ever in life going to be an action tense or is in life this going to be, the, the present tense is fine, but if I were to go into the past, would this be an action past or would this be a description past? If you said I was afraid, are you painting the scene or are you giving me an action? I was afraid. What's going to happen? You're painting. So, it's going to, so if the verb is avoir peur, how would you say I was afraid? If I'm in this tense, what sound am I going to have? Oh, uh, j'ai pourré. But, 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 where's the verb? Pouvé. Pause. You're doing absolutely everything uh. people do when they are used je, to doing one. Je. Pause. How do you say, what, what's the verb in avoir peur? So avoir, avoir. Great. So peur. That's it. Peur. Yeah. So all you need to mentally do is acknowledge I just deal with the first one. Peur yeah. isn't going to change. Yeah. Peur isn't going to go anywhere. Yeah. J'ai, it's like saying... Um, I'll be ready. I was ready. I will be ready. I had been yeah, ready. Ready yeah. doesn't change, okay? J'ai peur. Good. Future block. How okay. do you say I will be afraid? Aurais peur. J'aurais peur. Okay. peur. Lovely. Excellent, okay? How do you say I'm hungry? J'ai faim. I was hungry. J'avais faim. Lovely, okay. Lovely accent, okay? Not femme, which would be woman, okay? Lovely. I get on with. I hear myself well. Um, je... Um, don't know. 
Yes. Oh. Look at me, you're going to do it. Okay. Now, <laughs> two brain decisions at the same time. Entendre, Ginny, is it an A verb or a soft 